Hi everybody, my name's Gemma and uh, I'm here doing a short video today to show you how I hacked my lovely run and fly sunflower dungarees um, to give them these lovely dungaree clips which are a lot lot easier to um, use and wear. Um, now they used to have these sort of roller buckle clips that the that my um, space run and fly dungarees have. Um, the only problem is when you adjust the strap to you know where you want it every time you sit down bend over it, it gets looser so it just pulls through which is really really annoying the shoulder strap falls off um, and it's generally quite annoying having to adjust it and then you know if you want to take your dungarees off you might need to then adjust the strap again to slip them over your shoulders um, and it's not very user friendly uh, so with these clips it's very easy if you want to take them off you just clip them off they stay at exactly the same length they're quite firm on the back and you put them back on super super easy um so you only need a few things uh, to be able to do this and you don't need to be able to sew which is good because um, i'm not a very confident sewer so what you'll need is a hammer excellent You'll also need some uh, dungaree clips. So I bought mine off Amazon. They were £4.60 for four, which is enough to do two pairs of dungarees. So you'll get a small clip like this. You'll get another roller buckle. Um, you can reuse the roller buckles that you take off the dungarees, but I decided um, to use the ones that came with the pack because they match the button. And you'll get a button. So that's the front of the button. And that's the back. And that is the back piece to the button. So that sharp bit will go through the material and go into the button here. And then when you hit it with the hammer, it, it fixes in place. It has like a nylon inside there. So if you've, you have used nylock nuts before, it's a similar thing. So it just, it, it makes it really tight. Um, and you'll also need some seam unpickers or if you don't have that, like me, I use a pair of sharp nail scissors. So the first thing I did with the sunflower dungarees, I'll try and get it closer, is the top bit was folded like this with the clip through here. So they were like this. So the first thing I did was unstitch. There was a line of stitching along here that I unstitched. So sort of peel it apart very, very carefully, get in there with your seam on pickers or your scissors um, and undo that. And then your buckle should come off. Um, ideally, you don't want to try and affect any of the stitching around here because that forms the integrity of the strap. Um, so uh, try not to do that. Um, I mean, I did do that on the other side of my dungarees. I did manage to take off the stitching went around the edge but actually it wasn't too bad so what I did was I tied up the ends here so it's not going to unravel all the way down the strap um, it's it's quite securely tied just here okay so let me do my dungarees up again so once you've unpicked that you get your dungaree straps now I'm going to undo these and then show you how I do them. So the first thing is, so make sure you've got the right side of the strap. So you need to thread this piece onto your strap. Um, so you do it sort of underneath the top, over the middle and then underneath the bottom. So that forms your kind of adjustment. So the next thing you do, take your little clip, place that over the end, and then thread that back up and through the strap. Now that is how you get a really well-adjusted secure strap. So I'm really pulling on that now. Uh, and that, has not moved anywhere. I'm still got the same length. Um, now I'm a bit of a short ass, um, so I need to get that buckle all the way back. You can see on the other side, I've got the buckle all the way over my shoulder on the back. 
so I'll need to do that at some point. Uh, so that's so you get it in the right place. Okay, so you haven't done your button yet. So to get your button, so you take the sharp piece, you decide where you want to put it. Now I put mine in the middle of the width and about a centimetre, maybe just less than a centimetre from the end. You don't want to put it right on the end because that will pull the material a bit too much. Um, so about a centimetre, maybe just a bit less. And then this I found, these are the twill dungarees, this I found just pushed through the material. Um, if you need to give it a bit of welly, you can put it through and then use the hammer with the button that should just go through by itself. So mine just pushed through. So then you have the sharp end through the material. So that is the back. And then once the sharp ends through, so the sharp ends through the material, you then place it onto the front of your button. Then once the material's through, and you put that on the front of your button, make sure you put this onto a chopping board or a wooden block. I say chopping board because that's what I used, because um, I just did this really, really quickly in my kitchen. So put this onto your wooden block with the back of the button facing upwards. Then take your hammer. It takes a few pretty strong hits to get it through and locked in to the front of the button. Um, but don't worry, you shouldn't damage it. And then once that's through, it will look like this. So this is really, really secure. It's not gonna pull out. Um, and that's gonna hold my strap really strongly. Um, so that is how I did it. Pretty easy, no sewing. Um, I've had a look at my other run and fly dungarees, so I bought the the spacey ones. Um, now I've noticed on this, the short bib strap on these ones is very slightly different to the sunflower ones. So the sunflower ones were just turned over at the top, whereas these have got a whole loop. So I think what I'm going to do with these ones is I'm actually going to cut this off. So I managed to save it from the sunflower ones, but on these ones, I think I'm going to have to use um, a hacksaw or some metal cutters to cut this buckle off. And then I'll attach the button just through the first layer. So just through one layer of the strap, um, because if I was going to put the button through both those layers, I think that might be a bit too much. So I think I'll put that just through the top layer. Um, it means you lose this buckle, but I mean, I didn't use the buckle on this pair. Um, so I still have some spares. Uh, if anybody has any ideas on how to get that off without breaking it, then let me know. Um, if you were really good at sewing, and I've already said I'm not good at sewing, you would unpick the stitching here and then probably take the buckle off and then restitch it. But I think that's a bit faffy um, and it's going to be um, easier just to cut that piece of metal off um, and put the button just on that front layer of these um, spacey dungarees. Um, I had a look at my Lucy and Yaks. I've got a pair of Easterns as well. Um, now those straps, they taper at the front and they get wider at the back. So you need to make sure you have a buckle that can cope with that. So you might need a, maybe an oversized uh, clip to go with those ones. But on these run and fly dungarees, um, the straps are the same width all the way along. So I found they're one and a half inches, 38 millimeters. Um, and it was really easy to find the uh, dungaree clips on Amazon. Um, so that's a brief overview of how I've done it. Um, I've written a detailed description on my blog. Uh, that is greengenblog.com. Uh, so go and find that. And um, if you have any questions or any tips or anything that I said wrong, um, let me know. Write me a comment, write me a message, and um, hopefully you get some excellent use out of your dungarees and um, they work for you. All right, I'll see you in another video later. Bye.